All right, I'm filming footage. You know that you ain't got no pants on. <laughs> in the mirror. Was I in the mirror? You, the mirror's right here, so. Judah, this is your favorite spot, huh? Just like real. Judah Avery. That's a serious conversation. It's hard to keep. So, we're heading to the park for a little bit of family time. Are you filming us? Where my face? Right outside of labor fields. Jump. Here now, we going this way. How did we meet Jack? Actually, you had a uh, Craigslist ad out. Yeah. Yeah. I lived in Detroit, but I had a Craigslist, Craigslist ad out for a man in California. Yeah. Said anyone want to house me for sex. Okay. <laughs> this is supposed to be family oriented here, sir. Sex. How do you think families get here from sex? Okay, but no. <laughs> Um, we met at a party. What kind of party? I mean, what are you, who's telling the story here? Me? Yes. Are you? Both of us, I guess. I'll tell you exactly how we met. We are at a party that I went to to visit my nephew, who you went to college with. And I go there to um, hang out with him. I walk in and I see you. And you pretty much just look at me and smile. Bat your eyelashes. My and, Disney princess on yep, this, as you say. And I ignored you and kept walking. That is not what happened. I just kept walking and sat by the by the door. That is not what happened. Talking to Marcus. That's not, that's not what happened. That is what happened. No, it's not. What happened then? Jonathan. Cara, right. yes I did. No. I, what did I do? I acknowledged you? I walked no, in and you said hi? But, no, but like you were standing, like you walked in and we made eye contact, but I wasn't like checking for you and I did eventually walk past you to check for me I said hi exactly. I'm Cara and you, and you said me. hi I'm Jack okay I'm saying I walked and we made eye contact then I ignored you and kept going you, you like did not, you did we made eye contact you and did, you I did, batted your eyes at me like, but oh, it wasn't wow. on some <laughs> chill out it wasn't that's exactly what <laughs> no. it was you could front no, for you two if no. you want to anyway I, like I said who's telling the story Okay. Okay, so that'd be tell it. And after this, don't try to give your version of events because they don't want to hear it. And so I'm sitting there talking to Marcus, and you walk by. You weren't talking to anyone when I walked by. I was talking to Marcus, then he goes and do something else. Then you come sauntering by, sashaying by, and you like oh stare, look at, look, walk by, staring at me, and you're like, hi. And I just said, hi, what's your name? And then I think we started talking from there. And then once discovering that uh, I was single and I don't know Marcus and I went to PUC or something like that, you were like, oh wow, that's interesting. Let me have your bod. <laughs> Let me have your bod? That was pretty I, much I, 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 don't, I really don't think that's how that went either. What happened, Judah? What was your first impression? First impression was that you were cute, but maybe you're a lesbian. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you no, I didn't think that. Right. Um He's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. You were cute. Well, I assumed you had a boyfriend because Marcus said all the girls there had boyfriends. Well, I was newly single. And not right. looking. How was your rebound? <laughs> No, I was not looking. I told you that. Yeah, how was your rebound? I told you I was not looking. The shaky, stable. Yeah. I told you I was not looking. Okay. Yeah, that's how we met. That is how we met. My first impression was that you were tall. Yeah, I am tall. And then I walked.
walk past and you smiled at me and you had a very nice smile. Yeah, it's cold. And then you really just sat and listened to me talk right. for hours. Right. Got a lifetime's worth of listening out of me. Right. The first day. This is true. What did you text your friends? I text my friend that I think I found my wife. Uh -huh. And, um, I, yeah, I texted that. And then you went back to Detroit. Yeah. And I went on a date with another girl. He did. <laughs> the next day. Yep. I didn't, I don't think either of us thought it was going to be a thing. No, I, I wasn't sure if I was ever going to talk to you again. Only because you live far, not because there was something wrong. Yeah. We, I we did hit it off. Is that I went on a date with. Why are you wondering where she is? I'm just wondering what her life, what what happened with the rest of her life. <laughs> okay. Like, where is she? Um, she was weird. She probably voted for Trump. Wasn't she black? Yeah. So you went on the date. You were unimpressed. Uh, we just didn't have any chemistry at all. And I'm sure that that was kind of magnified since you had just come off of hanging out with me. Yeah, like I thought she was really cute and we just didn't have any chemistry. Just wasn't like the spark that you and I shared. Mm -hmm. Alright, get out. Everybody out. Here at the park. Judah Bear. You ready? Okay. You ready to go play? Go play. You like the park? I want the park. Oh, this one. This is the park. Yes. Supply Vista, California. Put that down. So, what made you decide? to hit me up um i didn't really decide to hit you up. what happened was i text you if we made it safe that night or jordy land or something like that and then uh you were like you didn't text me back for like you went home and to sleep for like the next next night or something and then you text me back and then we just um kept talking from then on and every day since Every day since. That's crazy. I know. Couldn't since get rid of you. October 1st, 2016, there has not been a single day that we have not been in communication. That is wild. That is wild. What did you want in a partner at the time? Someone nice, kind. Someone nice and kind and sweet and cared a lot of things, complimented each other in a lot of ways. Um, yeah, someone good looking. Yeah, really good looking. I talk to God about that. You don't get everything you ask for all the time. <laughs> Road. I got what I asked for. That's over here. What were you looking for? Um, I wasn't. First of all, I was not looking. Um. Yes, you were. No, I was not. Yes, you were. No. Anyway. No, I was so not. So where did you? I was. <laughs> but I knew I I knew what I wanted though. If I was if I got into a relationship, if I knew what I wanted, I wanted someone tall. Um. Good looking, funny, smart, driven, financially stable, sane, um, God fearing, someone who had a good family. That was really, really important to me. Um, and 
I don't know, somebody that's gonna like push me and make me wanna be better. Can you go fast? So what made you know you wanted to get married? Oh, I knew I wanted to get married? Yeah. Um, well, I knew that at first that's what I wanted for my life. And, um... I just knew you were the one. How did you know I was El the Uno. one? How did you know I was the one? You just knew? I just knew. It's just something that you know, you know? Yeah. I agree. When you know, you know. When you know, you know. You still think I'm the one? You yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how did you know I was the one? I just knew. And okay. then life continued to confirm it. Like, like I knew what I wanted before we got into a relationship, but then... We got into a relationship and a lot of life happened very quickly. <laughs> and um, I don't know, just like how you handle situations. <laughs> what is happening here? I don't know. How you handle situations and how you keep me calm. And you're probably the only person who I can stand to be around every single day <laughs> and live with. No, I mean that. I, yeah, most people, I don't really like them that much. Um, but yeah, you're fun to be around. I still like being around you. Good. You're still my Judah. best bud. Judah. Um, and you keep me calm. Make me get out of my head. Push me to be better. Judah. Yeah. Let's go this way. All the things you need in a spouse. You're gonna do it. This marriage is not for the weak. It's not. So what do you think I bring to your life that you didn't know you needed, that you're glad you have now? See, that's something that you bring to my life that I didn't know I needed? Yeah. Oh, I think it's a tough question. Jack thinks a lot before he speaks. Yeah. We're going this way. Come on, dude. Why are you fussing? level of uh, I think like a different perspective on things that I didn't think about that I usually agree with um, yeah that's it <laughs> <laughs> is there any advice you would give to someone who is looking and currently single uh, just be open that's it just be open be open. That's all the advice for you. Just be open. <laughs>